Hi everyone, so in this video what I want to talk about is five signs of low self-esteem. So this is an area that I work with, I've been working with people with low self-esteem and lack of confidence for many years um, as a counsellor but also as a coach and it's also just an area that I find really interesting. I love working with um, women and with men on this area because I do believe that your self-esteem as well as your confidence levels go up and down. There's no one that is always confident all of the time always feels good about themselves. It takes work, it takes personal development. So one of the signs um, of someone who has low self-esteem is over-apologising, saying sorry for everything, even when there's like no reason to say sorry, but even if there is a reason to say sorry, someone who's constantly apologising, sorry, I shouldn't have said that, sorry um, for asking, sorry for this, it's because it's coming from them. They don't feel worthy, they feel like they have to apologise, they feel like they're... Um, the other person is thinking negative things about them. It's not true, but it is a sign of low self-esteem. Another sign is fear of expressing your opinion. You will always hold yourself back if you've got low self-esteem. You'll say, well, they won't want to hear this. You know, they'll think I'm stupid or I shouldn't be saying this or what I have to say isn't worthy or isn't valuable. So that's another sign. And that can really have a crippling effect on people's lives when they're thinking that way. But it's something that really does affect people. The next one is negative self-talk, really negatively putting yourself down, talking badly about yourself, saying, you know, what's the point? You know, this person isn't going to be interested in me. I've got nothing to offer. This job uh, is not going to give me the job because there's other people better than me. Um, I'm useless. I'm stupid. You know, I shouldn't make mistakes. I'm this, I'm that. Loads of those messages come from um, other places, but they end up being your point of reference you start being more critical to yourself so this is a big area that I work with is helping people to turn negative self-talk into positive self-talk helping people to realize they can make mistakes um, it's okay to you know not have all the answers but it's no like it's hurtful for you to just keep criticizing yourself another one is seeking validation from the wrong people or the wrong things so needing external validation is a massive um, indicator of low self-esteem you're not able to say to yourself I've got this you're not able to pep yourself up you're not able to say that I feel valued I feel worthy you have to ask other people for their validation you sometimes can't make decisions it's a major thing that cripples people's lives because if you're always seeking external validation when that's no longer there then you struggle because you're like well, I can't make any decisions and I don't feel good about myself because there's no one to tell me that I do and the final one is difficulty hearing compliments and positive feedback. So someone with low self-esteem, it doesn't matter if loads of people give them compliments about what they're wearing, about how they look, about whether they've done a good job. They can't hear it because in their mind, they're just hearing negatives. It's not that they don't hear it because they do or not that they don't appreciate it. They just can't absorb it. It's like they're thinking to themselves, is this person talking about me or it's not sinking in, they're not receiving it. So that's the difference. But once you start working with someone on your low self-esteem, once you get to that point where you actually absorb it, you feel it, you believe it, it just transforms your life because you just operate in a different way. So let me know what you guys think about this. Is this something that you're struggling with? Is it something that you're um, aware of the people are struggling with? Don't forget, you can also share this video with others and leave your comments. I'd love to hear what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye.